Well, uh, another story, another saga continues. A 911 operator admitting to trying to lure a 12 year old girl into pornography, allegedly telling police it has happened before. Chilling new details captured in a recorded police interrogation, then detailed again in federal court. Prosecutors arguing Jason Cortez is a danger to the community and should stay in jail until his trial. Jane Flash was in the courtroom today, joins us now from the newsroom, and I know uh, the family reacting to this, Jane. Yeah, family on both sides. Prosecutors first, though, ran down a laundry list, saying Jason Cortese admitted to everything that he's charged with and more, leading, leaving the family of the victim shocked and his own family in disbelief. We're just very upset. We just don't understand the whole thing, so. Robert Cortez came to federal court to support his nephew. Since his arrest Monday, Jason Cortez has had no contact with his family. It was in court his mother, aunt, and uncle learned from prosecutors about the videotape confession. Cortez allegedly admitted soliciting nude photos from the 12-year-old stepdaughter of a friend, sent her photos of himself and photos of children engaged in sexual positions. He agreed to sit down with police just hours after his arrest at the 911 center Monday. Prosecutors say Cortez went on to confess to having an attraction to 12-year-old girls and that on other occasions he solicited and received naked photos from other victims. This is a person who is a predator who has a sexual interest in young girls, said U.S. Prosecutor Tiffany Lee. He is a danger to the community. Yet Cortez's uncle has a hard time reconciling this alleged confession with the firefighter, EMT, and public servant he knows as his nephew. He was a good kid. He's very respectful. We're just trying to to support him. That's, that's all we can do right now. We keep, we're, we're not able to talk to him. Now, the family of the 12-year-old victim did not want to comment after court. Cortese is on paid leave from the 911 center. A judge now must decide if Cortese should stay in jail or be released on bail where he would live at his mother's home in Arondequoit under electronic monitoring. Don? All right. Thank you, Jane.